It was a solemn moment for the children, family members, and friends of late Captain Well Hosa Okumbo, who gathered for the Thanksgiving and first year remembrance service of the deceased. In her speech, daughter of late Captain Well Okumbo and wife of Olu of Wari, Her Majesty Olori Atuashe III, recounted the experience and the grief of the family a year ago when their father passed away. She said the first year remembrance service is important because it is an opportunity for the family to appreciate God and also celebrate an astounding father, business magnate and philanthropist who lived his life for the service of humanity. Departure of my father felt like a thousand pillars crushing my heart and I think I speak for all my siblings when I say that we didn't know how we would survive the next year but for the mercies of God we have been able to sail through. In his sermon, the officiating minister, Pastor Charles Osazua, says success is not measured by riches and material possession, but by the impact on humanity. He paid glowing tributes to late Captain Well Hossa Okumbo, who impacted positively on humanity. We are celebrating a man who had discovered his life. That is why all over the world, everywhere you go, once you say you are from Benin, the next thing you hear is Captain Osa. In their tributes, the eldest son of the deceased, Osaho Okumbo, a former governor of Delta State, Chief James Ibori, the deputy governor of Edo State, Kamri Fili Shaibu, Archbishop Benson Idahosa, siblings and friends of late Captain Well, Hosa Okumbo, eulogized him for the legacies he left behind. Thank you, everybody. Uh, Uncle, Uncle James, I mean, Your Excellency, thank you for coming from far and wide. We are still grieving. So I can imagine how you all feel, but it is well. It is well. Amen. Captain was a man of peace, and he need the unity of the family more than ever now. You remain in our hearts forever. For those that you have touched, for those that even heard about your name. The ceremony, which held at Well Hosa Farm, located at the Bini Bypass, was attended by palace chiefs from both Bini and Wari legal luminaries who include the past and present MBA presidents, politicians, religious leaders, amongst others. Deborah Ogbefon reporting.